Hi guys, Alina is here. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to show you this fun smoky eye that is very appropriate for any party like New Year's Eve party or basically any party you're going out to. It's fun, it's a little bit funky, it's not too heavy, it's not overly dramatic but it does have a little kick to it. So. I have used quite a few different colors. It's multi-dimensional. It's almost like that unicorn vibe kind of thing. So I'm really happy with that look. So if you want to learn how to create this easy multi-dimensional smoky eye, please keep on watching. So first of all, I'm going to prep my skin with Rejuvenic Oil by Monet. As usual, it is great for hydrating and nourishing your skin. It is also amazing for your hair. It's going to make it shiny and softer as well. Then I'm going in with the YSL All Hours Primer. I still really, really like this primer. My skin is pretty dry in winter, so I love using it. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation has been my favorite for about a few months i probably say three months now i really like how it applies and i'm all using the zuiva brushes in this tutorial exclusively i just wanted to show you which ones i'm using and how i'm using this so this is the foundation brush it's kind of like a stippling brush i really like its density and its texture it really blends the foundation out super super nicely and i hardly ever need to touch anything up with a beauty blender after and then i'm going in with the Too Faced born this way sculpting concealer a really really nice concealer again does not crease under your eyes i like how it applies and how it blends out and the mac studio finish concealer again i'm using a little spot on concealer brush from zoeva just on any imperfections that i have on my skin uh, and i'm using the beauty blender to just blend everything out again i am a true believer in beauty blender and its power it's just truly magical it just blends everything so nicely and just gives this really really nice finish to the skin um, I just absolutely adore this tool and then I'm going to set everything with the Marc Jacobs finish line setting powder and again I'm using another Zuiva brush it's kind of like a bigger powder brush I like how um, it feels all the brushes are extremely soft on the face so I really like that and the Becca be a light palette I'm going to use it for actually highlighting a little bit so i'm using the highlighting powder and then i'm going in with another zuiva brush it's sculpting brush um and i'm going to uh, create a little bit of a contour with the contouring powder from the be a light palette um, i'm not over contouring as you can see i prefer more of a natural finish so i'm just going in very very lightly and then i'm using uh, the angled brush um, I like to use this brush for applying the uh, bronzer actually uh, Some people like to use it for applying um, Blush, but I really like how it applies bronzer. So I'm using it for the bronzer this time And then this is actually the powder br brush, but I'm using it for applying blush honestly, I believe that all brushes are multitaskers and we're all artists so we can literally use them as like uh, as we please and then Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade I'm going to sculpt my eyebrows a little bit um, I'm actually using so this angled little brush it's basically an eyeliner brush I like to use it for sculpting my eyebrows but oh my gosh it does wonders if you're doing the um, eyeliner the cat liner oh it is so good it is i would say it's not dense it's pretty soft so it um it applies the eyeliner a little bit differently than the uh, a dense brush would do it but oh my god that angle is just perfect for the winged liner so it's called the winged liner but I like using it for the eyebrows as well. And the benefit, give me a brow brow gel. I just like to set everything in place with it. Um, it just gives a little bit more texture to the eyebrows and the Studio Finish Concealer. And this is actually the um, eyebrow kind of like defining brush. It is a more of a denser one. 
so i like so you can basically use it to fill in your eyebrows or you can use it on your brow bone just uh, to define the eyebrows with the concealer and the mac paint pot in the color painterly is just the perfect color to prime and prep your eyelids for uh, before applying the eyeshadows and i'm going in with the fenty beauty moroccan spice palette and this little angle it's not angled it's just a blending brush but it is a little bit pointy on the end so i really like how it goes into the crease really nicely this is probably one of my favorite brushes out of the whole zuiva collection it is phenomenal it just does the job it um, applies the eyeshadow so nicely and it blends out really nicely and then i'm going in with the darker color the brown color unfortunately fenty beauty palettes don't have the names for their colors so i can't tell you uh the exact name of the color but it's kind of like a brownish um brown it's a warmer brown color and i really like it as a transition color it uh, does not have shimmer it's completely matte and then i'm taking Another Zuiva bl uh, brush that I look like to use as a blending brush is just a clean brush. And then I'm using this Movi um, burgundy kind of, almost like a purpley burgundy color in the crease again, um, just to create more depth and dimension. And again, as pretty much in all my videos, I go from the lightest color to the darkest color because this creates the depth on the eyelids. And I'm just basically going in that crease. I'm concentrating on the crease because um, after this, I'm going to go in with a darker color all over the lid it's going to be a little bit of a different look um, that I normally do so yeah that pointy brush is fabulous for applying the eyeshadows in the crease if you want the perfect blending brush that's gonna be it and the other one is a little bit more of a flat one that I'm using like right now it's oh it just blends out everything so nicely those are basically my two favorite bl brushes to apply the eyeshadows with and I'm just layering that darker like purple burgundy color and just blending everything out because I don't want any harsh lines that I'm taking this so this brush basically you can use it to apply any cream colors like concealers or you can use it to pack on eyeshadow like I'm using it right now so I just want it to be a little bit more precise um, this pretty it's kind of like a greenish uh, I don't know it's it's just a very pretty color uh, from the Moroccan Spice palette um, it just have that little turquoise sheen to it almost but it's very very pretty you have to really pack it on apply a few layers of it to make it more pigmented but once you do once you apply it oh my gosh it's really pretty it's just a very pretty shade I really enjoy it so I'm basically working, working, working to apply that color. Um, and I'm always shaking, if you can see, I'm always shaking my brush off just to tap the axis so that it does not give me the foul fallout. And even if you do get some fallout, it's not a big deal. Just take the, uh, the brush that you were applying um, your powder with and just um, uh, brush under your eye area and it's going to basically remove everything just don't go in with your fingers and don't rub it even off with your fingers that's going to make a mess just take the brush with some powder on it translucent powder and then again I'm taking that little blending brush and I'm taking a little bit more of that purpley burgundy color and I'm going in the crease to just kind of connect those two colors together because I, if you know me by this time, you know that I don't like any harsh lines on my eyes. So the Too Faced Lives a Festival palette has been my favorite last summer. I don't know why I haven't used it for a long time. I guess it's more summery and it's uh, winter, but I really, really like it. So I'm using the color that's called uh, Beaming. It's a pretty goldy kind of tone and I'm using it in the inner corner of the eye just uh, to create a little bit of a sheen to it. And then I'm going in with the color that's called Artist Pass. So this color, 
reminds me of the blue brown pigment by mac it's not quite blue not quite it does have a turquoise see like on this particular eyeshadow it appears turquoise but it does have that brownish burgundish undertone to it it's so pretty it's such a beautiful color and then i'm taking the flat brush and basically i just uh, repeat all the steps on the lower lash line just like i always do i just connect all the dots so uh first i go in with the lighter corally color um and just connect everything i really enjoy using this brush as well it just does the job really nicely just blends everything in nicely applies the eyeshadows really nicely goes in close to my lash line so i really really enjoy using this brush as well um i would say i've been using zoeva brushes now for a few months and i think i'm really really satisfied with the quality of them and how they apply and just how soft they feel so i really think they are worth the money they cost um yeah so basically i'm applying all the eyeshadows that i previously applied including the dark greenish color um and yeah i connect all the dots and then the life is a festival palette i just kind of connect everything with that brown brownish turquoise-ish <laughs> color it reminds me so much of the brown blue pigment by mac and then the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Palette. That pretty color that's right in the middle has been my favorite. So pretty. Look how pretty it is. I just I just pack it on in the center of the eyelid and it just creates that dimension and just like a little kick to this um, smoky eye. I really, really enjoy it. Really like it. And then MAC um, Pencil Liner, I'll list the exact color in the comments. It does, it's basically like a dark turquoise um, liner. It's really nice. It is, um, it applies very nicely and it stays in your waterline. So that's why I really like it. I just decided to make my waterline a little bit darker this time. And then the Benefit Bad Gal, Bad Gal Bang Mascara um has been my favorite lately as well it just makes the eye uh the eyelashes really long and gives them dimension so i just apply that on and the smashbox all back box always on liquid lipstick in um the color stepping out it is a really pretty nude like i would say a darker nude color and the mac mineralized skin finish in light Skipade is one of my favorite highlighters of all times it is so subtle you can almost not see it but once you turn and hit that light oh my goodness it just shines it's not glittery but it has that sheen so pretty and i decided to add some more blush um it, this one is called style by mac and i finish it off with huda beauty metallic lip gloss in the color shameless so pretty So here is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. I'll leave my email in the description box. All the products will be also listed in the description box. So go check it out. Uh, if you want to stay tuned for further videos that I post, please feel free to subscribe so that you're always notified when I post new tutorials and new videos. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.